Alright guys, how are you guys doing? It is 9 o'clock, I'm going to film this and then go to bed and get ready for school. Uh, this is my NXT TakeOver Phoenix predictions. Uh, I know I should have done this earlier this week. NXT literally just went off as I am speaking to you. It is currently 9.02pm, January 23rd. My head is busting right now. Uh, so I'm trying to get this out to you as quick as possible. So I can go to bed and probably die. Um, so let's get right into it. NXT Takeover Phoenix predictions. First match I want to talk about. We'll get that out of the way. Matt Riddle versus Cassius. I know no one cares. In my opinion, I don't care. But I'm going to go with Cassius Ono because of what happened last time with him and Matt Riddle. Matt Riddle literally destroyed the man. Next match um, I want to talk about is actually a match that I actually do care about. And it is Bianca Belair versus Shayna Baszler. Or B Baszler or Baszler or whatever. Hey, however you say her last name. Baszler, Baszler, Baszler. I say Baszler. But a lot of people have been saying, no, it's Baszler. I just say Baszler. Um, I think, here's what I think. I want to say Bianca Belair walks out of TakeOver Phoenix, the WWE NXT Women's Champion. But she's not going to. So I want to say uh, Bianca. I really do. Honestly, I really Truly, honest to God, do. Uh, I do think we should have had this match on this card. I'm not going to talk about it. It's not on the card, but I am going to talk about it. Sorry, my head's hurting so much. I can't even speak right. Uh, I think we should have uh, Adam Cole versus the Velveteen Dream in a one-on-one -on -one match. That match would be awesome. It would also be a match of the night contender. But we don't have that. But if we did, I would go with the Velveteen Dream, of course. Uh, but we don't have that on there. Next match I want to talk about is the NXT Tag Team Championships. You got Kyle O'Reilly and Roderick Strong taking on the War Raiders, Roe and Hanson. Uh, I believe that the Undisputed Era will get called up after WrestleMania. So what I'm going to say is the Undisputed Era lose here. Now, I know it's far-fetched because, you know, Adam Cole, baby, vowed that they would hold every singles title besides the NXT Women's Championship. They would hold every title in NXT besides the NXT Women's Championship in 2019. It's not that I don't think they can't or don't think WWE would go that way because they could totally go that way. But I feel like they're going to get called up. They could get called up after the Rumble. They honestly couldn't. I feel like... The whole WWE Universe would be happy. Sorry, my head is busting right now. Um, next match I want to talk about. Um, I feel like I'm missing something. Let's see, you got... No, I'm not missing anything. Okay, okay. So, next match I want to talk about is probably going to be my match of the night. And it's not just because, oh, Ricochet's so damn good, or, oh, Johnny Gargano's one of the best in the planet. These two together are going to create magic. And magic in the wrestling world is when you take two people, and they can change the whole aspect. This story has been so good, and I'm gonna, I'm gonna, this match will lead into my reasoning on why I think the main event will plan out the way main event will. The way the main event will. Um... I know that it is going to be one hell of a match. It's going to be my match of the night, no questions asked. I know that for a fact. But I am going to say Ricochet loses the North American Championship. And I do have a reason for that. Here's my reason right now. I think we're going to have a heel DIY. In order to have a heel DIY, and I think t in order to make it work, you need to have Tommaso Ciampa and Johnny Gargano holding pretty much the main singles titles in NXT. 
That way they're literally saying we're the best on NXT, not just because I'm the NXT champion and he's the North American champion, because we are DIY. And that that's my whole reason I think Black Black is definitely gonna get called up after WrestleMania. If he doesn't, it's just it they're just stupid. Same with the Velveteen Dream. The Velveteen Dream here are my picks for the if I had to pick three people or three superstars to go I'll cut that part out. To go out after WrestleMania or to get draft picked before Thanks for sticking that right in my camera view. Um to get draft picked or gets uh shit to get called up from the main roster uh i'm probably not gonna cut this part out he's just in the background we're gonna keep it in there uh Absolutely. you good um but i feel like those three the three people that will get called up undisputed era alice black and velveteen dream if they don't they're just stupid as hell and they're idiots uh, as he struggles to undress in the background. He struggles the most I've ever seen somebody ever struggle. These are soaking wet. Muddy as could be. To get, look like me trying to put on a shirt. Um, <laughs> um, but yeah, those are my predictions for NXT TakeOver Phoenix. I think Johnny Gargano is going to help Tommaso Ciampa win. At the end of the night, and that's why we're gonna get healed DIY. I love you guys so much, man. We're working our way back up. Thank you, YouTube, for screwing us out of that 100 sub mark. We were there, and then we got taken out of it. I love you guys so much. Thank you guys for the journey. It's been your boy Superman, and remember, always keep your phone booths locked. Love you guys.